I think for every physician, there's a lot of challenges that we encounter, particularly during training and then after when you're encountering your own patients. And this is why it's very important to have very, very good training. So my name is Paul Durand. I'm a plastic surgeon here in Miami, Florida. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I was born in Miami. I'm originally from Lima, Peru. My first big challenge was making the decision to leave Peru, where I grew up and where my family currently is, and making that decision to come to the U.S. and really start my training. The moment that I realized I wanted to become a plastic surgeon uh, was during one of my first mission trips. Uh, at that time, I was working with a plastic surgeon. He was U.S.-based, and he was traveling all the way to Peru to do this work with an organization. And I really started out there as a, an interpreter, and I really had no idea who was going to you know, change my world and decide for me to do plastic surgery. And there was one specific patient that really uh, got me thinking about this. And it was a little girl that they had picked up that morning from a river in Ayacucho. And someone had thrown him in the river, we assume it was a parent, because she had a cleft lip and palate. Um, so what the people would consider deformed. We basically took her in, we did the surgery, set her up for adoption, and then I was able to really hear her story afterwards. Uh, years later when I found out that she had moved on in life. The great part about plastic surgery is that uh, you basically are trained to operate from head to toe. That's one of the things that sort of led me to this specialty. And the best part of training at tertiary center at a, at a referral center from all over the world, which was Cleveland Clinic, was that I would see everything from the most basic case to the most complex. During my second year, I received a, pa a patient, a patient transfer from a regional hospital that had had a gunshot wound to the face. And this was a, a young girl, under 20 years old, that had tried to commit suicide. And she had basically blown up all the front part of her face uh, in between her eyes, and she was severely deformed. We did multiple surgeries uh, through the years, and really what culminated my time there in Cleveland was, I was part of the team that performed the, her face transplant. And this was the second face transplant that, that I'd done. Um, and it was the youngest woman in the world. Surgery, and plastic surgery in particular, is not always predictable. There's things that, that don't go the way they're supposed to go, um, and there's things that you have to oversee and make sure it does, doesn't happen. Um, so being able to plan cases and work with patients to achieve their goals, uh, that's really what's important.